Hi, hello. I did not mean to do that. Can I go back to the main menu? Nope, all right. Hi, hello. I am the great and powerful cheese fry and this is coffee talk. Um, it seems, what is your name? I am, let's just go with my actual name for once. Yep, that me. So, um, this is kind of loud actually, in my ears anyway. Um, this game kind of reminded, it's like a, a endless, I think it's like a dating sim, but I'm not really sure. Um, but I just, I really liked the style, so we're gonna play, we're gonna play the game. I hope you all know how. Seattle, 2020. Hey. A city filled with dreams and madness at the same time. Currently. That's accurate. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. You got a little hopeful there, didn't you? That's not at all accurate. We're getting there. Not right yet, though. It's, it's, we're not there yet. A time when anyone can dream of being anything they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. God, okay. Um... Who gives you the right to be this real? I... That's not okay. But still, there's a place, and th it is a place in time where anything can happen. Yeah. Sure. That's not what you just told me, but all right. We'll go with it. Mohammed Fami. <clears throat> oh. That's quite a varied cast. It is... Okay... It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. Metallurgy. It's all about metallurgy. When the orcs have put down their axe and started using computers. Okay. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds many dreams and stories of its people. Who this though? Who dat dat? Who dat back there? Art by Dio. Kono Dio da. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace and in, in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. I can assure you, I would not be one of them. I did consider moving to Seattle but currently can't afford to do so. Maybe I'll just visit, I don't know. Anyone from Seattle, is tell me if there's any good places to visit in Seattle, because I am completely lost. Um, they're told over drinks, then take up residence in the stranger's memories. I'm assuming we're talking about stories because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, in one corner of the city stands a coffee shop, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. Uh, yeah, okay. During the summer, they're not going to be open for very long, are they? Or would it be during the winter? Which is it? Would it be during? I don't know. It would be during the summer. A place where people share their stories, and these are their stories. Don don. You can't say these are their stories without having that the the law and order sound play. It's illegal, except for it's illegal to use this, the law and order sound because it's like copyrighted or whatever. Tuesday, September. Okay, so this happens later in the year, so maybe we have hope. How oh, hi? Oh, it's you, Freya. How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. What happened? Whoa, that's a face. 
<clears throat> my supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. Oh, that was a cute smile and I wish I'd gotten a, a pick of it. Damn it. I'm sure it'll come. There it is. That's what we call a thumbnail. Anyway, let's set things up first. You're our first customer after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. Writer's block again. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... What the hell just happened? Something just broke. Pardon the interruption, the machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? I have to make the drinks? What? Oh, wait, okay, I'm a barista. Anyway, I really need that triple shot, okay. Uh, how do I make that triple shot? Tomodachil? No, okay, brew pad. I, we need that triple shot of espresso. Blacker than the moonless night, hotter, th hotter and more bitter than hell itself. So we need, uh, we need base, 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 base. I need coffee. Can I, like, oh, it's just coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee, 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 so much coffee. We need all of it. Here it comes. I've never used something that looks like that. Serve it! One cup of triple shot. Special for my only customer tonight. That's the good shit right there. That's that good shit. I'm gonna be taking... It's like Undertale again. I'm gonna be taking screenshots constantly. <clears throat> anyway, where were we? You're planning to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, but it seems like the right time to do something bigger. A novel? Ooh, this is exciting! So, I'm also... a writer. Um, I just don't really write that much. So, does it count? I guess, I, I, I guess it doesn't. I write sometimes, is what I'll say. Uh, and I've always had a plan to write a book. Uh, in fact... This plan goes all the way back to middle school when I swore I'd be the youngest published author. That didn't happen. So. And then later on learning that the youngest published author was the kid who wrote Shrek. And was like eight. Yeah, that was not going to happen. Uh, it sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job in, in case things go wrong. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Did I say something wrong? No, you're right. You just said something I thought I, I should have thought myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they also the biggest book publisher in the country. Hell yeah. Go for it, Freya. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator, so naturally I pitched my book idea. Go on. Go on. Come on, don't look at me like that. Well, you gotta tell us what happened, Freya. Are you for real? I know, it was such a stupid thing to do. So, how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories, so he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. Hell yeah, you go Freya. That's like the opportunity that every writer wishes to have. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. Oh, hmm, hmm. I need that poster. I absolutely need that poster. Falling behind on the newspaper deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Yeah, you might you might want to watch out for that one. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. 
All right, you got three weeks to finish that initial draft. <clears throat> Don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh, <laughs> I assume the number of words you've written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I mean, am I wrong though? Am I wrong though? May I see it? Um, well, it was so bad after reading it, I decided to delete everything immediately. God, that's a fucking mood and a half right there. That is a mood and a half. Oh, so zero. Effectively zero. Freya, come on, sweetie. You get it. So, so, so one of the writing tips I've learned is fucking don't delete anything. Just run with it. You can edit it later. I, it, I'm 24. It took me 24 years to learn that. Okay. Just keep it, run with it. You can change it later after you're done. There's an editing phase for a reason. I really need to finish it at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sweetie, it's not your job to edit. Like, it, it is, but it isn't. You just need to get that draft done. If, yeah, it's great if you can pull it off. I know, I know, you don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. Ooh, music changed. All right, groovy. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Oh, another customer! Oh, she's, oh fuck, oh no. Oh no, they're both cute. Oh shit, oh no. Oh, that's not good. Welcome! Hello. Oh, good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. I hope they... They're gonna start dating. I really hope they start dating. That would be so cute. They... they Look, she's purple, she's green. They compliment. They have to start dating. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my buff. Ah, come on, man. Uh, not planning to be awake all night, so definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, yes. Anything with chocolate, please. Chocolate, but no coffee. Dismint? Dismint? That's a chocolate? That's green tea. No. So, obviously, base with the cocoa powder. We're gonna add a little bit of milk. And then, a uh, little bit. Hold on. Let's start that over. I'm gonna do double cocoa and then some milk. But no, now it's not warm enough. Fuck. Ah. Here, just have a glass of milk. Fuck. No. Are you fucking kidding me? Just here, have a fucking glass of milk. Okay, cocoa powder. Um. And then, like. Yeah, actually. That'll be fine, I guess. Anything with chocolate, but. Okay. I guess this'll work. It's not triple chocolate, but it'll work. What, what does the brew pad say? A cappuccino is... Okay, hold on. If we're using just the chocolate. Dark chocolate is just chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Let's give this a try. Let's give it a try. Why not? I got five redos if it fucks up. <clears throat> it's milk chocolate. That's what it is. Ooh, I can do latte art. I can do, <gasps> I can do latte art. Oh, this is, oh. Oh, yes. I'm just letting my inner artist flow. Etch.
I'm having way too much fun with this. Oh, I can, oh, I can turn it so I can etch it in other ways too. Oh, that's cool. Serve it. It doesn't look great, but here you go. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Hey, smoking's bad for you. Thank you. Is it good? Please tell me it's good. So warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend. Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing I'm a failing coffee shop. Coffee shop. I thought this place would be more crowded, considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight. Because it's the only coffee shop that's still open past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, it is good for biz- Is it good for business only having coffee at night? No, it's not. Coffee is like a morning and evening kind of thing. And then there's this asshole. <laughs> so, um, yeah, shut the fuck up, Freya. Definitely not. Yup, what she said. No, but yeah, I could see how that would not be good for business. Then why? I just love doing it. And that's the only reason we need. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running a coffee shop like- You shut the fuck up, Freya! You're over here laughing at me and I don't appreciate it! <laughs> That's my secret. Rub here is damn rich. That's the secret. God, I wish. God, I ri wish. She's exaggerating. <laughs> I can manage. Yeah, I hope so. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll have that weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who thinks who works best at night in a coffee shop, so not many options for that. No wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up, Freya. I'm gonna look. Okay. Here's the thing, though. I gotta rep. All right. If you're not gonna shill yourself, I gotta shill. All right, all right. If you're not gonna shill, I gotta shill. It's as simple as that. That's really interesting. <laughs> what kind of things do you cover? Cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Oh, well, I think... Oh my god, this guy. Why... Why does he look like that? Why does he look like that? Why? Why does he look like that? Why? What is this, this whole thing right here? You need to fix that. The, this right here especially, you need to fix that. Well, and that too. This just this whole thing. Fix it. I don't like it. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. You got it, my guy. I know exactly what you need, but I'm going to check anyway. <laughs> All right, so you want probably a cappuccino because it's going to be bitter. So double coffee with some milk. Brew it. Brew it. We're going to do it. We're going to have some fun and go through it. I don't know how to, I don't know what I'm doing. Invert? I don't know what that means. Uh, okay. Good. It's my masterpiece. That's it. That's it right there. This is the greatest... This is the greatest that ever there was. Actually, that doesn't look that bad if I can try and tease this out a little bit. It almost looks like 
A music note, almost. Oh, so the slower I go, the more pronounced the effect is. Okay, that seems simple enough. There we go, okay. This is like super chill and I love it. Here you go, terrible latte art and everything. And I'm suddenly blown up because of the sun. Here's your order. Is this what you call latte art? Dude, fuck you. Yeah, at least the drink is good. That's all that matters. Fuck you. Your, your latte art's gonna get ruined when you pour it in your gob anyway. So shut up. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus there's the rain. It's okay, Bailey. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Bailey's. Oh, as in... As in the cream liquor? Is that what your shirt is a reference to? As in Bailey's Irish cream? I haven't introduced myself either. Lua. Alright, so we've got Freya, Lua, and Irish cream over here. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Robbie. Hey, did you know that Frey is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. I'm guessing he's a photographer. Ten bucks says he's a photographer. Freelance illustrator. I was close enough. It counts. Done some caricatures and infographics. I assume you were in contact with Steve. Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. Hey, we're bonding! We're bonding! I still want Freya and Lua to hook up, though. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's not the design and visuals department. Or, I'm glad he's in the de design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. No, according to Dante, there's only nine, and I... Okay. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to fix my face. The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. I missed the thing before that. Hold on. Uh, 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 what was the chat log? Do you usually deal with bad customers here? No, not really. Shuffled. I get to change the music. Oh, this is called One More Time by Ermi... Ermi Gendru. Oh. Mm. Cup of sweetness. That sounds good. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Are we really going there? Are we really going there? Not as good as your coffee making skill, though. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Anyway, I need to start writing. Yes, you do. Get on it. You got two weeks. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not that far. Just over at the table in the corner where she always... Next to the windows. That's my spot. Okay, have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Alright, Irish Cream. I guess I get stuck with you now. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So how was your day? I'm just gonna sit here and eavesdrop on their conversation, aren't I? I mean, not... I... I probably would as a barista anyway. I probably would as a barista anyway. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood today. I thought your boss was always happy-go-lucky. Well, he is, but today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great to see him so smile so much. What about you? Your boss is having an affair. Or he got married and had a kid. Or he won the lottery. Those are the only three things that someone could be happier than usual about. Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one's a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. That's right, don't complain about shit you can't change. Only complain about the shit you can change. And complain so loud that someone has to listen. Because that's the only way change will happen. 
You should make a meme about her. I'd lose my current project for a minute of laughter. That might be worth it. How to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you... you the ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods, but it would be it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. That's right. Phone's going off. Lua? Lua, you're on a date. Turn your fucking phone off. Your parents? Yeah. So you've talked to you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well. No. Okay, wait, aren't you both elves? Should it- wouldn't it be okay? You're both elves. What did they say? A lot. There's a lot of dead air. They won't give us a chance at all. Anyone but an elf. I guess she's not an elf? What are you then? That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. If I get in- I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? Oh, we're, we're getting intense now. We zoomed way in. You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part, being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume? Forget it. I want to know. Oh god, this is... Am I seeing, like... Am I seeing a falling apart right in front of me? God damn it. God damn this natural lighting not being that great. I would absolutely use the, the auto stuff, but... Um, just don't work. It just don't work. The auto change, because it doesn't do it while it's recording. Mumbling about elves, mumbling about how elves are holy creatures, I missed the last line. About our immortality, about how even if I outlive you, what? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf. No other elves would want to be with an elf that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. Oh, she's a succubus. Okay. Mmm, that's exactly what they said. Are we, is this going to be, is this going to be a Montagues and Capulets kind of situation here? So this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. Y you know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. Why not? But no, really, why not? I don't I don't see I don't see how that meshes. I don't see how you can't just fucking go. And you won't get your permission from uh and you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to serve, uh, to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend the rest of my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. So, what? Hold up. Hold up. You... So, Irish Cream over here. If he breaks his bond with his family, he's no longer that which mo that which elves naturally are. That doesn't make any sense to me. And this is killing me. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. Yeah, don't look deep down. Don't trust your instincts. I can't think about this clearly right now. You need... You need more coffee, is what you need, Lua. That always helps me. Lua, wait. 
buddy. Just, just, just elf to elf to dude here. You fucked that one up. Sorry you had to listen to our problems. Dude, it's not- I'm a fucking barista. I hear it all the time. I do hope your yours will have a happy ending. Okay, you- well, that right there is part of your problem. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. This is a coffee shop, not a lot- not a bar. God damn it. He's just like- <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, Irish Cream, get on out of here. Do you have anything warm that can calm me down? Green tea latte? Green tea latte, I'll take one. Alright. Um, the fuck do I make a green tea latte? I mean, obviously, I would imagine it's... Well, I thought there'd be some coffee in there, but I guess not. It's green tea plus double milk. Alright. And I'll even be nice to him and try and make some good latte art for him. Pour the milk, garçon. Okay, so we got that. And then I'm gonna put some here. Is this, is this, is this how it works? Am I, am I latte arting the right way now? I don't know. I mean, that looks okay, right? I mean, it looks okay, I guess. It's not awful. I don't know what I'm doing. He made fun of my he made fun of my latte art last time, and now I want to look good, and I just can't get it to work, and I just I'm just gonna just serve it to him and go home. This is good. Thank you for this. For some reason, I thought my door opened. By the way, are you married? <laughs> Me? No. Too young. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. I'm married to my work, don't you understand? But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? Dude, you just... Yeah, exactly. You can't make those decisions. Those... That... Shit like that's predetermined, I feel. Everyone has that one person. Shit like this is predetermined. Well, that's what my old man said. He is really one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Except for you, you've got the most pretentious fucking face I've ever seen, Irish cream liquor. Entitled pretentious immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. You, accurate. Accurate. Anyway, I need to go now. Probably drink myself under under until the sun rises. Yeah, okay. Alright, live up to your name. There's still a while till sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. Jesus. That was a... Uh, did you see... Did, was she there for the whole thing? You were listening from the corner? Oh, poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. This is after midnight, so it's like, what, two in the morning at this point? I think I'm going to close up the shop after this. That's, it's, that's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. Are you supposed to put a comma there? That's weird. Bitter heart shadows will help. Shadows that will help you try to hide. Bitter heat. Bitter heart. Bitter heart. Bitter heart. That's the star anise. And that's some cinnamon. And. I don't know what that is. My first instinct is lemon, but I highly doubt that's lemon. All right. Well, that is where we end this video. This is something special, I think. I thought there'd be more interaction, but I guess it's more like a, a, a visual novel that I can make the coffee. 
But you know what? Sometimes that's not bad. Sometimes that's not bad. Sometimes you just need to sit down and have a, uh, a coffee and a chat. So thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and let me know that. Same for the core, uh, the, 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 the other way. Um, if you have any suggestions on games I can play later, um, leave those down in the comments. If you have a story about going to a coffee shop, and just sitting there and shooting the shit with the barista or with the other patrons. Let me know. I want to hear your stories. So that is that. Um, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow.